In this video, I am going to show you how to do the port forwarding and DMS configuration in Huawei HG8145V wireless router. For this purpose, first we need to log in the router with the username and password. Default username and password of router is admin admin. If you have changed the username and password, you need to log in with the changed password. If you want to find the IP address of your router, you can use the below description link for finding the router IP address. Once after login with the username and password, select the forwarding rules. Here we are able to see the DMS configuration. Once we press the new button, we can select the enable DMS. Then select the WAN name. WAN name means which is the interface we have configured for internet. Here I have only one internet name. So I am selecting the same. Then there is two option. Either we can select the host address which is the server we need to do the DMS. In the right side portion, we are able to select the server names, which is already in the DHCP list. Either you can select from there or we can manually enter the IP. Here I am manually entering the IP address. Then press the apply button. Now all DMS configuration has been completed. If you want to edit, we can simply press the to edit. Then press the apply button if you want to disable the dms you can delete the selected dms configuration for the port forwarding and virtual server configuration you need to select port mapping configuration then press the new button here we are able to see application and user defined in the application we are able to see some selected configuration but here i am using the user defined then i am selecting the enable port mapping then enter the mapping name then select the wan name interface of wan ip configuration then enter the internal host internal host means internal server ip address if you don't know the ip address of the internal host we are able to select from the right side selector list here i am entering manually then enter the external source ip address here i am leaving as blank then Press the add button. Here we are able to select the protocol. If you are using the TCP, we can select TCP. If you are using UDP, we can select UDP. Otherwise, if you are using TCP and UDP, you can select TCP or UDP. In RDP protocol, it is using TCP. So I am selecting TCP. External port number. Here we are able to enter the port number beginning and ending. Here I am using same. 3389 the default port of rdp then enter the internal port here also we are able to enter beginning and ending so here i am for the rdp we are using only single port so i am entering the same port in all the location then press the add button if you are pressing again the add button we can add one more port forwarding for the same server i have one web server in the same here I am just entering few range of port for understanding the configuration. Then press the apply button. Now our port forwarding has been configured. We can simply delete the selected port delete button. If you want to delete completely the policy, we can select the delete button on the top. That will delete all the configuration of particular policy. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.